Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. We are now in the month of October, which means uh, I'm feeling like trying a horror game. I've uh, been pretty busy um, recently. I'm recording this on the 2nd of October, and randomly enough, my brother just turned up, uh, my younger brother, who's actually moving into the flat upstairs, um, turned up and he was staying with me and he's only just left this morning so i haven't had any kind of time to do any recording um so about time we fix that huh i am now out of titan tries in the old uh, video backlog so it's time to get going so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different there's a certain game on the switch that has been catching my eye for well quite a while now uh, it's a game called Syndrome. Um, it has been pretty much on sale on the Switch since I got one. And I'm pretty sure I got one about three years into their life. So this game's supposed to retail at £20. It's called Syndrome. It's some kind of horror game that I know little about. Um, and it's always, always, always on sale for £1.59 and because it's on sale for such a tiny price um, I just assume it's going to be a load of hot ass. but what I did I looked up a brief overview of it the other day and yeah looks like a load of hot ass to be honest from what I can understand it's a first person kind of horror stealth game set on a spaceship it kind it's, it's giving me like um soma vibes for instance except you do get weapons and you get enemies that you can fight it's a hot buggy garbagey mess as well with millions of points throughout the relatively short game about six hours apparently uh, lots of points in the game where you can get locked in by bugs, you can fall through the floor, you get objectives that just stop working. So that's always fun. But I thought it'd be an interesting Titan tries to uh, just chill out. It's been a pretty hectic uh, week. So I'm going to crack a Hobgoblin Ruby Ale and we are going to read the blurb that I have discovered for this game. So, here we go. So, Syndrome is a science fiction survival horror game that was developed by Camel 101 and Big Moon Entertainment and published by Red Deer Games for the Nintendo Switch in 2022. Right, so actually it only came out, only dropped on the Switch last year. Huh. Well, pretty much since it's been out, it's been a cheap budget game because it's always on sale. You can buy the Deluxe Edition for £20 and there's another Ultimate Edition, I think, for like 30 but it doesn't actually say what you get with those, so I'm good. We'll chill with the £1.50 version. Thanks. Um, So, the game takes place in the Vulcanberg, a drifting spaceship where uh, where something has gone horribly wrong, killing most of the crew. Ooh, it's like a system shock type thing then. Okay. Uh, killing most of its crew, the player controls a character that wakes up in the spaceship with no memory of what happened. Oh, we've never heard of this before, have we? And has to explore the ship, avoid or fight hostile creatures, and uncover the truth behind the events. So the game was originally released for Windows, Mac, Linux, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 back in 2016. Right, that's probably where I'm, yeah, I've probably seen it on those other storefronts as well. The game was inspired by classic horror games like System Shock, Alien Isolation, and Dead Space. Hmm, okay. And the game features a powerful creature called the Beast. Sure. That cannot be harmed by weapons and must be evaded throughout the game. The game has multiple endings depending on the player's choice and actions. The game received mixed reviews from its critics and users, with some praising its atmosphere and graphics and others criticizing its gameplay. Well, 
that's interesting that it received kind of mixed reviews because from what I have seen, uh, it's generally quite negative. Uh, some people say it's okay, like if you can find it on sale, which, well, as we've already discussed, is pretty much all of the time. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping that we're going to get some cool futuristic laser guns and things, maybe a cool ship to explore. Some cribbly, cribbly? Yes, cribbly monsters. Um, and apart from that, we're just going to have a good time with it. So, let's switch over. OBS is being weird. Right, let's chuck the old switch in the dock and switch over. Okay, we're going to give it a go this time uh, using the face cam just because, just for these Titan Try videos. Um, I am looking to improve my face cam, hopefully within the not too distant future. Now, uh, before we do anything else, out of curiosity, let's see if it's still like really cheap in the eShop. I don't even know if it's going to show us uh, the price because I've already bought the game. The princely sum. Yeah, it's just going to say purchased. Uh, that's disappointing. I mean, if you look at these screenshots... Okay, <laughs> all right, bad example. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, bad example. Okay, well, th this looks quite nice. Oh, look at these enemies. Okay, I mean, they do kind of look very System Shocker-esque, I suppose. All right, whatever. Let's just get into the game, shall we? Brotato. Yeah, it's been quite addicted to Brotato at the moment. Now, I didn't realize this was on uh, any other platform. So, that's fun. <clears throat> sure all of my audio is working. Because I don't trust it. No, sir. I know OBS has stiffed me in the past. Okay. So, what options do we have? Well, we can invert or... Alright, so none really. Let's go new game. I guess we don't get any difficulty slider. That's fine, I'm sure. This is ground team. Package has been secured. Has the origin been identified? Negative. Origin unknown. Alien? Possibly. Course of act. Okay. Didn't want to read it anyway, to be honest. So here we are on our, it kind of looks like a Lego ship, I guess. Not 100% sure what our ship is about. My webcam is all kinds of fucked up. Got some lengthy loading here, but you know, it's on the switch. What do you want? I guess. I suppose the Switch 2 is going to be dropping, like, any time. Initializing system. Waking up subject 14 e 14.5-X. Name, Trent Galen. Alright. Injecting revival serum. Hey. What happened? We got voice acting, so that's a thing. So click R, I guess, to check your objective. Leave the cryo chamber, but we don't wanna. Okay, the visually this game is strange. There's lots of um, obvious shadow banding and stuff like that. That's, that's obviously an artistic style. What is also pissing me off already is there is a heavy, 
heavy film grain, but whatever. So, we can fiddle with this. It's a little bit like Doom 3, actually, I suppose. Right, what have we got here? So, crew status. Unit 1, David Stark, deceased. Michael Way, deceased. Karen uh, Ragusa, deceased. Joseph Seymour, deceased. Bill Wayne, deceased. Trent Galen, active. Woohoo, that's us. Sophia Brown, deceased. Also, just in case you're wondering, it doesn't look like there's anything in that portion covered up by the webcam, so. Uh, door locked, right. Ah, we, we can manipulate the controls somehow. That's done with the left analog stick. I'm digging the sound atmosphere, actually. The, the sound design is very good. So, these are all the different cryo bays. Everybody's already arisen from. Okay. Okay. Well. This ship does not look well. That's for sure. Well, that's not exactly great, is it? Okay, so, uh, blast shutters. What do they look like? I'm guessing we're going to have some more boops to beep. And, you know, visually, this game's not bad, actually. Uh, oh, what's this? What can we fondle with you? Novacore security. Access denied. Secure ship. Uh, right. Gotcha. Something just smashed. Fine. Well, we've got another panel. Access. Um, are we supposed to be locked in at this weird angle? Um, fuck knows. But we are. Alright, so. Lower blast shatters. Oh, that looks cool. Say goodnight to the starry sky. Oh, you know, they've got the sound design down. That sounds fantastic, actually. That big, he like, heavy clunking of metal. I like it. All right. Well, let's keep exploring. Let's see if we can find some space mutants to shoot in the face. That's what we want to see. Yeah, definitely getting a summer kind of uh, vibe. Amnesia, that sort of thing. All right, so we've got some more shutters here. Well, there we go. I'm not sure. Cool. I'm not sure if they're actually man enough, but whatever. Yeah, you can see on the white uh, text log there, the film grain, it's disgusting anyway uh log entry S uh sean t oh that's nearly my name um i hate this job i hate spending the best years of my life inside a ship i really wasn't made for this but well the pay is good i'm earning 10 times what i would be earning back in the dock well that's great because when you're a grizzly old man like me you'll be able to return back to uh Back to the planet side, I suppose, with a pocket full of credits. And isn't that really the dream? Okay, cool. So, uh, so now we've secured the ship. There's another computer thing down here, wasn't there? That said something about securing the ship. It's running okay. There is some frame jank. Um, I think that I don't think it's dropping frames. I just think there's um, frame pacing issues, but oh, hello. The company wants us to pick up some military team in a nearby moon. In a nearby moon? Okay. I don't like unexpected detours, but they're offering a nice bonus. They'll just be here for the ride, so it's worth the extra time. All right. Sure. Ah, here we go. Ship log. Chief Ryler was here today and ordered us to cease all scanning of the anomaly. This is highly irregular 
I will be duly reported. Uh, Steve found out the readings originate from the lower decks of the ship. Yay! Let's go to the lower decks. Wow, we're in 2321, apparently. Jeez. Kind of like Starfield territory there. Uh, detected unusual readings today. We were unable to find out what's causing them. All systems operational. Nothing to report. So why even bother logging that then? Um, so we've got seven healthy crew members. Zero sick. That's good. That's pretty efficient, to be fair. Uh, there's three injured, right? And, well, 343 deceased. To be fair, more supplies and monsters for the rest of us. So... You know. Um, security. System secured on... By us. Oh, right. That's because... Right, yeah. We secured... Okay. So it is tracking, like, what we're doing. The ship is. So, let's go to the lobby. I guess this way to the lobby. All right. It's very... The atmosphere is very good. Ooh, we have loading transitions. I don't know how to save the game, and I don't know if there's a map. Check closets and some crates for objects like batteries, ammo clips, and health kits. Batteries, eh? What about ale? We got any space ale on this thing? We should have. Bit sad if we don't. Or a space grog, actually. We like space grog in Starfield. That makes us happy. Uh, switch. You alright over there, buddy? You good? Wow, that's the loading bar in the bottom. No. No, come on, man. That can't be. Yep. Scanning for possible contaminations. This can't be more loading. Oh, hello. Can anyone hear me? I'm here. Who's this? This is Commander Naomi. I'm part of the Marine Detachment aboard the Valkenberg. Identify yourself. I'm, uh, I'm Galen. Officer Galen. We thought you were dead. I just woke up from cryosleep. My mind is a blur. I don't know what's going on. How long have you been asleep? I'm not sure. I don't remember much. Most likely the effect of cryosleep. You should be okay in a few hours. I hope so. Where is everyone? Okay. Something really bad has happened on the ship. Um, bad? What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll try, but... Be careful. Trust no one. I must break contact or they'll find us. They? Who's they? Yeah, that was uh, cryptic. Okay, so there are people still alive. I mean, we did see on the computer monitor that there were some. Uh, now we have to restore power. So who is they? Oh, we've got a map. Oh! And not a bad one either, to be honest with you. Okay. So we need to restore power. So where is that? Auxiliary systems is 12. Uh, okay. Sure. We've got the prison. We've got the cryosleep rooms. All right. Well, let's just have a little wander around. I guess we're going downstairs. I want a grenade launcher. Like a fancy one, you know? Maybe a bit of a RGB, a bit of neon on the end. Maybe a lightsaber. Oh, The robot. Hello, robot. Are you going to get funky with me? You, we about to get fresh. 
Well, he's got a pipe in his hand. So I'm going to assume... I guess this is a save room? Right. I guess we'll just save there. Are you going to get fresh with me, brother? Well, I mean... Where he's shaking? He's itching for some action. He's twitching to get at my neck. Ah, engine room. Do we need to go to the engine room? I'm going to say probably. But let's go to the systems room first. Just to have a little poke of bat. See what we can find. Uh, Dr. Vorbach continues to disturb me with psychological reports of my crew. He doesn't know them like I do. We're a perfect machine, me, the ship, and the crew. They're just tired. We handle everything. Okay. Okay. There's lots of bloody logs everywhere. Kind of sliding across the floor a little bit. Oh. What was that? It's a key card. All right. Oh, we'll certainly have that. I, I assume that's supposed to say something, but, well, I can't read it. This place has been completely ransacked. Novacore. Somebody threw the keyboard around as well. That's not cricket. All right, well, I f was hoping these were going to be lockers or something, but I guess not. Uh, system power is off. Well, I mean... Right. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Something's making some noise out here. We could go to the medical bay of the labs. Let's check out the cry. Ooh. Hello. So something's skinning these guys predator style. I like it. Any of you guys have any guns on you? Doesn't look like it. So the cryo rooms are empty. I think. There's no men in here. Or wo Oh, that's a really effective soundscape. Some, it kind of felt like we were being chased around the room. That was really effective. <laughs> I wish I could use my, like, really fancy headphones on this. But it's a Switch, so I can't. Alright, like, can we pick any of this up? Or... Oh, that's crunchy. When you go to kneel down. That, yeah, it kneels down in, like, ten frames. Ooh. Alright, whatever. It's not an issue. I'm sure. Right, do we have a torch or something getting the feeling that a torch might not be a bad shout so oh there's another friendly robot this robot doesn't have anything in its hands uh say dude you're not gonna like punch me in the face let's go check the other one because This door is broken. I need to find another way inside. Of course. Right, well, there's an obvious way in there. So. Can we not... I don't know how to manipulate stuff. I guess it's just A to pick things up, but... Well, we're not going out anywhere here. And, okay, we're, we're floating along. That's fine. That's fine. We don't mind floating. So, we need to get in there. Door mechanism is broken again. If it's urgent, use the vent to get inside. If it's not, wait for it to be fixed. That's fine, but how do we get in the vent? We kind of... Kind of looks like there should be a vent here, but... 
Maybe it's in another room. Whatever, we'll find it. Okay, well, let's flip one switch and see what that does. You alright there, brother? You good? Oh, there's the vent. At least I assume that's the vent. Okay, system one is now online. Yeah, excellent sound design again. Okay. This is a hell of a vent. You need ale for this. What? I'm hearing things. Uh, you're not hearing things, dude. I think your prison pocket has been violated. That was not fantastic. <laughs> That was not fantastic at all. Are we infected? Is that going to be like the whole rub of this? We're infected? Maybe. Alright. So, what have we got here? Dave is not answering my messages. I hope nothing's wrong. It's so hard being apart from him. All I want, to, all I want is to start my life together with him. Kara. Well, that's very unfortunate my dear um, doesn't look like you're going to be having much luck with that right so now power is restored objectives have been updated do we now really have to climb all the way back through this vent I mean I guess so ah <sighs> To be fair, definitely getting the scale of the vent right. This is pretty, um, pretty terrifying so far. You know, I mean, they're trying. Okay. Oh, he's twitching too now. Oh, is he? Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Did you just psych me out, you son of a bitch? Alright. Okay. I think... Our next point of call... Restore power. Okay. <clears throat> so... We've got a save room outside. So we've got... What have we got here? <clears throat> what would... Um, engine room. Yeah. Which was 13. But that, that wouldn't be the engine room, would it? Ox systems. We've, ah, no. Maybe it would be the engine room. Possibly is the engine room. I'm guessing. Can we not save? Don't say these save points are single use only. Really? Can you only save once? Oh dear. Alright, whatever. So there's still no power here though. Need to restore power to this section of the ship, but didn't we pull both the plugs? Right, so the auxiliary systems are now online. So where does that now allow us access to? Done that one, we've done that one. What's up here? There's nothing we can fondle in here. I guess we're just going to go back. Because we can't go forwards. I did hear uh, a, there are some bugs where you activate certain things. And the, the event that's supposed to happen doesn't always trigger. But, you know, I like to believe that sort of stuff would probably have been patched by now. Right, systems room, I guess. I can't believe we can't save again. That's not fantastic. 
Ah, right. Now we can activate. Right. System power is now on. Okay. So now we've got to restart the engines. This dude's still not moving, which is good. <clears throat> ah, what's going on with these save rooms, though? That's really lame. I'm going to be honest. All right, so engine room. Um, engine room is 13. Right. So I guess that's just a straight shot. Ah, hey friend. Hey dude. Search body, can we wait for him to die first? Nothing useful, really. Why give us the choice if he's got nothing on him? Alright, I like the way we were going through his pockets before he was even dead. That's fantastic. All right, well, let's keep searching. Oh, is that a container? I guess not. All right. So we're in the fabled engine room. Um, Do you read? I've got my transmitter working, so I can contact you directly. Who is this, Jimmy? What's going on? There's dead bodies in here. I know. And that's not the worst part. But I can't explain now. We can't keep the channel open or our positions will be traced. Who? Who will trace us? We'll talk later. I promise. Right now, you need to get inside that room. The last registered access was made by the chief engineer. And his last entry in the system was on the medical bay. Your best bet is to find the chief engineer. He'll have the key card with him. Didn't we pick up a key card? Uh, restart engine deck five. Find axe. Okay. I'm sure. We had a key card, didn't we? We did. Did we use it? Yeah, possibly we used it. Oh, there's more corpses hanging. All right. So whatever's killing all these guys is like hanging all their corpses. That's fun. That's a bit like um, Predator. Okay. That looked like we could fiddle with it, but I guess not. Still got no weapons or lasers or grenade launchers or anything. Oh, something's making a moaning noise. Well, we still haven't been able to save it again, which I'm really not happy with. I definitely like save scumming on these games. So, let's go back. You right there, Chief? You still got nothing. Alright, he's still dead. So, where's medical? Um... Medical, 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 medical. Medical is 10. Oh, God. Medical is quite far away. But well, that's fine. Alright, hopefully this robotic... M oh, now we can save. Is it on a cooldown? Timer? Uh, I don't know. 
But, uh, there we go. Right, let's... Oh, hello. You all right there, sir? Look like you could need a bit of help. Walking with a bit of a limp, don't you know? So, the headaches are getting worse. The doc increased my medication, but I don't feel any effect. I don't know how long I can go on like this. Well, we're going to find out. Probably not as long as you'd like. Oh, there's a broken robot. Please contact hygiene specialist Robert Jameson or insert lock code. We don't have any kind of lock code, so that's fine. Lots of blood and viscera around. We like these. Definitely would have thought I would have had a weapon by now. Okay, so how are we doing on the map? Right, so six was the waste recycler room. That's fine. You're not doing so well there. Oh, we can search bodies. Nothing useful. That's going to be a thing, isn't it? Search that prison pocket. Nice and deep. Medical bay. So, I didn't catch any sleep tonight. These damn headaches. Should I stay tonight or today? Should I stay tonight or today? What's the difference? There's no day or night inside this metal coffin. Wish I could just go lie down on the grass and feel the sun in my face. Well, friend... That's never going to happen again, unfortunately. Oh, this looks fancy. Jimmy, this ship is falling apart. There's no way I'm getting back to the medical bay. We need to find an alternate room. There's a vent access inside the chemistry lab. You can use it to get to the medical bay. But you'll need a special tool to open the vent. Go to the storage room in level four. You can find one there. Storage room. Ugh. Storage room, level four. So this, ah, this is deck five. I'm guessing we need to go back. I guess. Ooh. Ooh, apparently there, ooh, Jesus. So we can search that. All right, so to search this um, locker, you kind of have to look over here. To search this locker, you've got to look over here. Ah, uh, yeah, oh man. So we're now experiencing the kind of jank that this game is going to be. And that's, that's not great. It's going to be janky as fuck. But whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. Do we have feet? We don't have feet. Uh, we do have a large sheet of burning metal. That's probably not great. Um, you know. Another broken robot. Now, medical's got to have some kind of stuff in it, surely. Even a med kit? Anything? A very small medical room as well, or chemistry labs. Very small. I'm guessing the ship isn't that big, but oh right, <laughs> it's like a beaker. I thought it was like some sort of weird floating um, bottle cap. Right, yeah. So we definitely have got to go back. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go take the elevator. That's fine. Now, if we hold down, looking like it, the left stick, we can sprint. So that's fun. It's also making me question whether there are things that we can technically search. We just can't search because the game is jank. Hey, Mr. Robot Guy. Right, okay, we can just save it now. Um, I don't know what... <sighs> the excuse for that is then no idea 
So, where's the elevator? Is that the elevator? Hey, there we go. Look at this shit. We oh, man. Access control. Right. Maybe this ship's quite large, actually, thinking about it. Fun. You can quickly change the equipped item by pressing the arrows. The arrows? You can also do it in the inventory. I'm assuming by arrows it means the D-pad. I know we shouldn't assume anything. And these loading times are going to suck. <sighs> hmm. I'm curious about this game. I'm actually sort of enjoying it quite a bit. But at the same time, I know... I know it's going to be janky and, and, and rage-inducing. It seems pretty obvious to me that before too long, all of those robots are going to come to life. And when they do, uh, we still don't have anything to defend ourselves with. Hey. And that in itself is a problem. Now, we've got the two people... And I'm guessing different endings. We get to decide. We get to decide who we're going to join up with. I guess. And now the chair's fallen over, which is really annoying. Now, can we actually search this? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? How do you fuck this up? Well, there's nothing in there anyway. And let... Oh! <gasps> we can hide in these. Okay, so we've got a um, special hiding zone that is really difficult to activate. That's fun. That's really fun. And one that has a chair in the way that's going to really slow us down getting into it. That's also fun. Isn't this fun, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good lord. All right. Well, whatever. So, there's the elevator. Now, we had to go to storage room. So, storage room is five. Actually, not that far away. Uh, hopefully, in the storage room, there's going to be some kind of weapons. So, there's a save room down there. Ah. Yes, you see, the problem is the direct route doesn't work. Because why would it? Why would the direct route ever work? Can we search these? Oh, we can search these bodies. There's nothing useful. Does that mean that potentially we've left stuff behind? Maybe. Uh, Tanya, I changed the password two days ago. Nobody has access to that room but us, and I sure didn't take anything from the room. Meet me at the garden after your shift. I think I know what's going on. Sean, we need to revoke the password for the storage rooms. I just finished the inventory and found that several items are missing. Four knives, two axes, one fusion torch, and three flashlights. Yes. That, oh, God. That was a bit of lag there. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. So who's been taking all the stuff then? Unlock security. Ooh. Ooh. So it looks like we've got a monster out there to deal with. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of, it kind of looks like a Play-Doh creature, but that's fine. The ship is speaking to me. I can actually hear her voice. I'm not telling the doc or hear make a fuss about it. He won't understand. Well... I mean, if that's what you think, dude. So. So we've seen somewhere. 
Oh, hello. Was that us screaming? What the fuck is that? Healing kit. Alright, so it's going to be one of the... Oh, God. Oh, right, that's hurting us. Ah. That was well... Obvious and... Easy to understand. Come on, I know I can fondle your prison pocket somewhere. Nothing useful. Can I fiddle with you? Yep. Right, is there any point to ever searching bodies? Because so far, we've found nothing. I sent 89 messages to Dave and still no answer. Maybe he's not receiving them. I can feel him close, like he's watching over me. I love him so much. Oh my. Well, that sounds uh, awkward. That sounds awkward indeed. Oh. I mean, I don't mind if I do. Why not, right? Get the feeling we're going to have some action pretty soon. <laughs> Are you kidding? Is that actually... A oh, no. Okay. I called it. Right, well, we're nearly out of health. Which... Could be bad? I guess? I don't know what the fuck these are. Uh... All right, well, we are dead, apparently. I don't exactly know what killed us. Can't... <sighs> yep, I don't know. Um, I suppose this game is pretty much what I expected, to be honest. Um, in the... Yeah, I guess. It's just janky. It feels like... If I was going to say it feels like an asset flick game, but maybe it's not that bad. I just get the feeling that it's going to be like one of those shovelware Steam indie games that uh, the developer kind of shat out and never bothered uh, fixing afterwards. I mean, they have put some care into the game, right? You've got a very nice map. Uh, you've got some pretty good graphics for what it is. It absolutely doesn't feel like 20 quid's worth, I'm going to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, maybe there's something here. So we've got to avoid these hot things on the floor and in the ceiling, apparently. Because they hurt. Now... I don't have a clue what these are. I guess we can throw them to make noise. I guess. Alright. <laughs> I mean, they're janky as fuck. They kind of just explode anyway. Which is fun. Can we not just have a gun? Not who, my friend. What? Right. So we must be getting pretty close. Um, storage five. Right, so that's the storage room up here then. I think. Now, the trouble with carrying this thing around is you can't see what the fuck you're doing. Which is... Oh. Oh, and it just pulls out your hand as well. Which is also great. You right there, brother? Oh, you're missing a leg. Not great, is it? And you had nothing either. Funny. I don't know what's going on with all these security protocols. Everybody is going nuts here, and I have the feeling they're not telling us everything. We should just wake up everyone from cryosleep. 
I received a new access code from the storage room, 56197. Can't forget this again or the boss will kill me. 56197. Okay. Right. Five, six, nineteen, seven. Access denied. Eh? Oh. I must have been thick. Can't actually see the letters that I'm putting in. Check closets and some crates for objects. It seems the company accepts anyone inside their ships nowadays. I remember when the selection process was so in demand they that barely anyone got in. Now we have all sorts of punks in the crew, even ex-convicts. Oh my. Right, so what's like searchable and what isn't then? Is any of this searchable? The thing is, you can't even rely on a prompt to come up and tell you. It w ah. Hello. Are you searchable? Look like you should be searchable, but I guess not. Any of this? Nope. So it literally comes up and tells you that you can search stuff. But there's nothing here that you can search. Or like I said, is it just not registering? Alright. Well, maybe we will never know. This is all part of the mystery of space. Space is such a wondrous and mysterious place. And people complain about Starfield. Ah. I mean, these things have lights on them. I had my suspicions about illegal drug dealing on the ship. Now I'm sure. The technical crew is all involved. I know it. I'm going to take this to Summers. You do that. You take whatever you want to who whomever you want. I can use this for the fence. Oh. Oh, that takes stamina. Okay. Block and attack. Interestingly, the, the block and attack is the wrong way round to what it usually is in games, but sure. I guess we can't break any of that stuff. Find access card. Wait. Oh. Okay. So we can search those, although I'm pretty sure we've like gone past them before. And we haven't actually been able to search them. But, I mean, you know, hey, what do I know, right? I guess. So now we've got this. I'm guessing we're going to have something to smack around. Makes sense. And we can't search any of that. God, that's so bizarre. Why would it prompt you to search it, like, the environment, when there really isn't anything to search? Now, I'm guessing there's going to be something in here. These voices are probably the effects of cryosleep. Yeah, yeah, probably. Sure. Probably cry asleep. Let's go with that. Comms room? Can't go in there. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> what could possibly go wrong down here, huh? There's blood on the walls. Hey! Good. 
because I would hate to lose all of that progress. All that riveting gameplay. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm guessing those robots are going to be pretty... Okay. Pretty tough to take out. Come on, you know something's skulking around. Come on. We did search him, didn't we? There's no way. What was six? Elevator. Cool. Really? Made it all the way back to the elevator? With nothing bad happening? Genuinely surprised. Oh, look, the, the chairs reset. So when we're not around, some monster comes along, I guess. Puts all the seats back in order. It's pretty good of him, to be fair. Pretty good of him. Oops. Because not, uh, not all monsters are like that. Some will just make things worse, to be fair. Apparently we're on nearly an hour. We haven't seen any action yet. Beware of electrified wires and steam pipes. Both can hurt you badly. Well, that's true. We've been badly hurt a few times. But mostly from the uh, failed promises of this game. I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed. I think it's fair. I'm still not 100% sure if I would want to play this game all the way through. Eh. I'll let you guys decide on that. Oh! Our robot friend is gone. That's probably not good. Um, my arms have disappeared and are now floating in front of me. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's fine. Right. Find the access card in the medical bay. So, medical bay was... Ba, 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 ba. Ten. Ten was all the way... Through there. Now, where is our little robot friend that's decided to go on a bit of a decor? We should have checked the other one, actually. Oh, did we check all these corpses for stuff? I mean, all right, well, I guess that one doesn't have anything. We definitely checked him, I think. Now. So how? Oh. Yeah, this was the room where everything was a bit weird. Can't do anything here. I'm guessing we're supposed to like... Nah, there's no way we're smashing our way through. Or anything silly like that. That'd be ridiculous. Stay away from the steam. There's nothing in here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, that works. There's probably a lot of vents, actually, that we've passed. My head is exploding. Every damn noise makes an echo inside my brain. I can't even think anymore. Even that hurts. Not fantastic. It's not fantastic at all. Definitely don't like thinking on the best of... Ooh, depot. 
We don't like thinking. Have you got anything for me, Squire? Anything at all? No? What about you, my friend? You've lost your head. But I'm sure I can still search you. Nope. I mean, there's a boot full of meat and an arm. Didn't really inter interest us, though. Healing kit. Might actually not be a dumb idea. Ooh. Pistol clip. You know it would go really well with a pistol clip? Ooh. A pistol. Oh, we've got loads of robots. We've got loads of robots just standing there. Were they there before? Nothing. I thought this guy was supposed to have something. And we're on our hour... Hour time limit, guys. I'm going to have to stop playing. Because them's the rules. One hour. Maximum. Um... Eh... Ah... I don't know, guys. It just... It seems like something that a couple of guys made together uh, in a base room, uh, base room, basement, and um, just farted it out onto the eShop. It doesn't seem like it's going to be anything special. It's got some very janky controls. The sound design is very nice, though, and the graphics are, are fine. They're passable. Um, it's a slow burn, though. H having said that, yes, it's a slow burn, but... It hasn't been one of those boring, um, uninteresting slow burns. It feels like it's building to something. But when we're going to see that something is another story. Um, yeah, me, I mean, hey, if you guys want to see it, we'll add it to the list. But if not, then, well, that's been Syndrome. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.